Saudi's not messing around in its efforts to electrify at least 30% of its fleet by 2025. Two years after debuting the e-tron platform as an SUV, the car company has crafted a pair of all-wheel drive grand touring models, the RS e-tron GT and the e-tron GT Quattro. Designed to perform equally well on both daily commutes and weekend road trips, Audi is positioning the RS GT and GT Quattro front and center as the future of its fleet electrification efforts. The first thing you'll notice is that these are very much not SUVs. They boast large wheels up to 21 inches in diameter, lightweight components, flat silhouettes, and a long wheelbase. Not to mention that burly pod racer-esque growl. Hoo 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 wee. While they may not have quite as much rear leg room as their SUV predecessor, the new GTs make up for the knee scrunching with performance. The Quattro offers 320 kilowatts of total power, up to 350 kilowatts under boost, which gives it a 0 to 62 of 4.1 seconds with 465 pound-feet of torque. The more capable RS muscles in with 440 kilowatts of power with a boosted 470 kilowatt total using launch control. That's a 0 to 62 of just 3.1 seconds and a governed top speed of 155 miles an hour. Both variants are built on the same compact 93.4 kilowatt hour battery system, which should be enough to give the Quattro and RS both a range of around 298 miles, as estimated by the company. That's a bit farther than the 265 mile range that Tesla can manage with a battery of the same size, but still a short enough distance to potentially stunt the progress of your grand tour. However, since the GT is built on a newer 800 volt architecture that we're starting to see in the market in such cars as the Lucid Air and Hummer EV, hurried drivers will be able to dump around 62 miles worth of range during a five minute long fill up using a DC fast charger. Now, when you're refilling these beasts, you can do so overnight with a standard 11 kilowatt AC line. It's just gonna take forever. But with access to a DC fast charging station, drivers will be able to refill their energy reserves from 5% to 80% in just under 23 minutes. That's among the fastest recharge times available on the market today. Part of what gives the GT its range is the vehicle's impressive 0.24 drag coefficient, matching that of the Polestar 2, as well as its adjustable electronic spoiler and an array of air inlets located in the lower section of the front grille. The inlets can be opened to help cool the brakes during high impact driving sessions, but will generally remain closed in order to minimize drag. As Dr. Moni Islam from Audi's Department of Aerodynamics Aeroacoustics Development recently explained to reporters, when you do the analysis of weight versus aerodynamics for battery electric vehicles, you see that actually aerodynamics is quite dominant. So what we try to do when we design these vehicles in total is to put as much aerodynamics and drag reducing features in as we can. Speaking of weight saving measures, the RS also boasts a five layer carbon fiber reinforced plastic roof, a first for an Audi vehicle and a segment exclusive feature according to the company. Optional in the Quattro and standard in the RS, both models offer all-wheel steering. That means the rear wheels can turn up to 2.8 degrees from side to side, which reduces the vehicle's turning radius. They'll turn in the opposite direction as the front wheels, up to around 30 miles an hour to increase the vehicle's agility and cornering, but will turn in the same direction as the fronts at speeds over 30 miles an hour to help improve stability. On the interior, the GT offers a 12.3-inch Audi virtual cockpit, which serves as the instrument cluster, as well as a central 10.1-inch MMI touch display. You will have to pay extra for the slick pop-up HUD, however, as well as the phone box wireless charging system and bang and off listen sound system. Those are all optionals. Now, what you won't find in the GT's interior is leather, unless, of course, you pay for it. Its seat upholstery is now made from Dynamica and Alcantara, though Napa leather is an option. Plus, the carpet and floor mats are made from McConnell, a 100% recycled nylon material made from old fishing nets. While the driver's eyes can, will, and rightly should be glued to the road ahead of them, the GT will be listening to electronic roll around itself. It's outfitted with 11 concealed antennas, providing audio, LTE, Bluetooth, and GPS connectivity. Plus, many of the vehicle's functions can also be controlled by the driver's My Audi smartphone app. Audi expects the e-tron GT to arrive in the US this summer in three trim packages. The e-tron GT Quattro Premium Plus, which will retail for $99,900. The e-tron GT Quattro Prestige, which will go for a cool $107,000. And the flagship RS e-tron GT, which will retail for 